See a split of the peak, so Alejo going right, and a big turn on the outside section for Stu Kennedy on the left. And again, you see all that extra chop next to the pier, a little deeper water current, and the reverberation from the pilings. He stays away from it, stays in that smoother water, and he gets the inside connection as well, and attacks that final section right at the exact same time. It was like synchronized surfing from him and Alejo. Alejo gets the outside float. I feel like this section on the outside a little stronger for Stu Kennedy in his maneuver. Although you saw Alejo able to kind of climb the whitewash and show a little bit more flow, which we didn't get to see from Stu Kennedy, just uh, where the positioning was. And this was that synchronized serving. They both did that same style of snap on the final closeout on the shore break. Judges would have been watching that pretty easily. Did you hear that turn? Like I a did. Lip crack. Yeah. 11.45. Scores yet to drop, but they're looking meaty. So he needs a 6-2-7 to take over the lead. It's going to be there. So Ricardo Christie is going to be in a little deeper rut. Wow, so a heavy exchange. Stu Kennedy's score comes through first, a 7-6-7. And that was by the strength of that outside move. He, he really went straight up into it on a bigger set wave. Like I said, that's the kind of stuff when you start to see it go excellent, it's on those bigger waves. Wow, and Alejo Muniz's score comes through a 6.5, just under what he needed to take the lead, still safe in second place for now. 11 minutes to go, we've got 